It's an active house. At the end of that hall, I got the chill. Move it. Is it time for us to go? Do you want me to move Yeah. yeah. One here. metallic, metallic bang. What was that? I feel the floor behind me freaking. I think I just heard a whisper. Behind Cody? Luke? Yeah, that's it. Give me a confirmation can you do it one more time. Turn it off and make the other. Is this Sarah? Could you stop the device and sit this? There is anybody here with us. I was gonna join the Rise Up team for an investigation at the Pain House in Coventry. Kind of last minute found out that these guys could come too. No pain, no, no gain. gain. Is there any railroads nearby? I think there might be some railroads nearby. To, we should pain train. the Pain <laughs> Train, baby. You know what we think about railroads? So what do we think about railroads? Railroads are portal that. No, railroads are said to increase paranormal activity in the radius. And so. rates of travel. And rates of travel. Do we know any names at this place? We yeah, any, so we Samuel B. Samuel B. first made this muff in 1692. But is that, that was the year the house was built? And then the 1690s. 1690s, okay. That means the house is over 300 years old. He sold it to a Francis. Francis passed it on to Francis. Um, I think Who passed it on to Francis. Yeah, there was a Tommy <laughs> in there at some point, but. You guys can do your don't research. Don't believe me. Fact yeah, check don't me in believe the me. Yeah, fact check him. We'll find a <laughs> thing wrong. We'll find ten things wrong. Is there anyone here tonight that would like to talk to us? Wow. It's even active when people are like walking around. Did you said it was smoggy in here? It was like really misty. Can you see it? I can see it from here. Because you said that when you walked in here, right? Yeah. Yeah, it looked like I walked through a haze. Oh, okay. So you did see it from your friend. Huh. That grandpa had the first light. Like a little bit. My name is Cody. This is Luke. Christine's over here and Justin's in the other room. We just want to talk to you. I have cat balls in my pocket as well. The crazy thing about balls are they're round. <laughs> and this house is out of the Did you live here? It's still going off. If you're touching that cat ball. Okay, it didn't move. Could you stop touching it for one second and we'll ask you some questions? Thank you. All right, if there is anybody here with us. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. If anybody's on the second floor, we're gonna meet outside for a minute. Maybe they want to go meet outside. <laughs> yep, we'll be back. What we're gonna do, and normally the way we do this is we give everybody a lot of latitude in the house to move around. We don't sit on your shoulders, but we are going to be joining you now and again, pop in on your sessions, see what's going on. There are four levels of this house. The one thing that you will have tonight that we did in previous nights, you got the attic, which is a very active area. A lot of times we don't use it because it's 148,000 degrees up there in the summer. It's just a nice night. Be mindful that we get a lot of traffic here. We're numb to it. You got a four-way light there. So you're gonna get the occasional Harley, the dually pickup trucks, and all the rest of that. You take a deep breath, work through it. It was an inn, a tavern, a schoolroom, a town hall, a courtroom. It was everything before Coventry built large. Everything was kind of centered out of here, so there's a little bit of everything. There are some specific people that are attached to this house that have interacted with us and acknowledged us and communicated with us. Be mindful, be respectful of who you're talking to, people just like us. That's the way we operate here. It's an active house. What I was going to do, first of all, is send you guys and Chris to the attic. Sure. Okay, start on the fourth floor. This house is amazing. This house is like impressively big. Oh, see? 
seen. Houses need stuff like that. I walked into that room at the end of that hall. I got the chill. So you said that the doctor is a... Uh... Yeah, he's in that other room. He's still around, but he walks the whole floor. If there's anybody here with us, we have a device on the floor. We also have one on the table. We have two on the table, actually. And something you can talk into if you'd like to communicate with us. Did you live here? Did you ever have any drinks in the tavern? And again, we're not trying to get you to do party tricks here. We just want to open a line of communication with you. So if you touch any of the devices, we'll be able to talk to you in some way. We'll be able to establish communication with you and maybe ask you some questions if you'd like to talk to us. Do you like having visitors? Oh, mark that. When you had asked that question right beside me, I thought I heard a yes. I know all of you remember my name. You've said it a few thousand times since I've been here over the years. Do you remember me? I felt like there was like a very light, like hand on. Childlike, maybe? Like almost like walking by. Like yeah, when brushing you. Like right there. That was interesting. I've never had it there. I usually get feelings on my shoulders. Yeah. I don't know why. It's like every time. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the first time I've felt anything there. Maybe you could tell me a thing or two about farming. <laughs> I'm pretty I'm pretty inexperienced. Maybe you could give me some tips. How about a knock? You're really usually good with knocks. If I knock three times, can you do it back? You ready? something I'm not sure if it was let's say banging in that direction but no, uh, okay. I did, I did I hear something but I haven't heard banging since so that's eerie timing yeah it was to, to be I thought you guys were up in the attic do you want this room then we'll leave yeah why don't we do that okay yeah. we, we can do that all right guys the attic this is the creepy room is there a more active place in the attic or is oh my god no the attic's every this whole house is active Alright, if there's anybody here with us, um, we're going to try to communicate with you in a way that might make it easier for you. So, um, I'm going to have a device on the floor here in front of me. Um, you should be able uh, to use that to communicate with us. So, I would ask if there's anybody here in this attic, you reach out to us through this device and answer some of the questions that we have for you. And then we have other devices here in front of me, if you'd like to touch those. Right now, here we go. This is someone saying they're uh, willing and wanting to talk to us. We're hoping to enjoy a conversation. That'd be much appreciated. They did. We'd love to talk to you. Who is they? The person. There's a lot of people that visited this house. It was an inn, also a tavern. Is there anyone particular that you have in mind? Are we talking? I need. Can you tell us your name? It's easy. Did you work here? Do you frequent here often? Hey. Are you the same person we were talking to downstairs? Five. The number five, was that including yourself? Them. Them. You. Them. You can see us. How many people are in this room? You. You. Do you mean me as in Christine? Are you pointing at me? So? I will note, instead of you twice, I'm technically not in the same room as you guys. I am in a separate room. Yeah. You should. Do you want Justin to come in the room? Hmm. He's stepping out of the room. Nah. He's stepping out of the room. Are you okay with us being up here? One. Would you prefer just one person be up here? That's not gonna happen, but... Name. Whose name? Which name do you want? Which one? Yeah, there's a lot of owners of this place. Easy. Easy. That's another. The owner of this place is another? Do you know one of the previous owners of this place? Have none. Keep it. That's how it worked. Vision? Vision after you're talking about Misty. Is that you? Are you making Multiply. it? Multiply. Are you manifesting in this room? A yell. 
together. I floated. How many of you are here? You said together. I'm going down. Yeah. Going downstairs? Did Purple. Just, we asked a color. You did ask for a color a while ago. That's what's necessary. 20. There's 20 people. Do we know any guests are here tonight? I'm Move so over. To Somewhere around 20. I didn't have time for it. You didn't have time for what? Heard it. Do you want us to ask we questions play. slower? Again. 20. 20 again. Are you saying you didn't have time to answer? It's me. I don't. I need. I'm thinking. You're done. What do you, do you mean want by to that? Stop taking pictures? No. Do you not want us to take video? Idiot? You're calling me an idiot. Call me an idiot. Who's an idiot? Someone here? Sure. Contact. Are you making contact? Smarter. With us? Do you want to make contact by lighting up one of these devices for us? You just need to get near them. What'll happen specifically? Whoa. Whoa. If you just get really close, they'll just light up. Nothing will hurt you. Two of them will make a noise. But it's just light and sound, that's all. Just so we can communicate. The gap. What gap? Over there. Over there where? I can't see you pointing. I can too. So you can Behind me. Behind? Are you behind Cody? Luke. Luke? You're behind Luke right now? I got full body chills. If you're behind Luke. Girl. Yes, it's Christine. Protect? Who am I protecting? No way. Yes way. Kidding. Are you learning new lingo? It sounds like really heck right now. Package. Can you move a package? Nope. Can you do anything for us? That's time. I told you. You told me you couldn't hear you. Can you say it again? Dead. Dead. Are you dead? Luke. Are you trying to talk to me? Contact. He's listening, Dad. Me. The neck? Me. No way. Is that you? Are you touching my neck? I'm not. Why are you saying my name? Altered it. Sure. Heard about. Connectivity. Did you know someone Purple. named Luke? Purple again. Something purple? Yeah, Why? You? Well, because you see, our friend's name is Lucas, so it's... We'd like to know who you're referring it's to. It's too much. Somebody in your family named Luke? You have to. Didn't trust. Attention. Copper? Did you work with Copper? What? Did you work with Copper? Who? You. Before. It's too hard. You're right. Well, it sounded like a conversation amongst themselves. I have. Really. Was that you? Crying. Like sobbing. Is that you crying? Between. At this point. Oh, my daughter. Is that your daughter who is crying? Stranger. Gun. Something bad happen? Really? You both be? Organic. Me. Are you talking about the farm? No. What do you mean by there organic? We so. loved it. There are people. There are people. Which we are loved organic, it. But... You... Anyone. Was your family three people? No. So do you didn't live here? Other. About. Public. It's different. I'm talking about the house. Close your eyes. Okay. I'll sit down again and I'll close my eyes. You know, you're sort of character. I feel the floor behind me creaking. Are you walking behind Cody right now? Active. Down there. Basement. Is that where you are? Oh god. Is the basement where the bad thing you were talking about happened? You said your daughter was- No how to? Other people. There's other people in the basement right now. It's another. It's another. We're just walking around counting all the people. Right? <laughs> Probably. Well, yeah. yeah. Try. I 
palpitate and I I feel my heart like fluttering. So said your name twice. Yeah. Do you want to try? Yeah, I'm down. Do you want to just swap yeah. up here? <sighs> yeah. All right. Yeah. If you need a minute. I mean, that's... Yeah, I definitely need a minute. I felt the floor behind me creaking. Yeah. There's nobody over there. No, there's nobody over there. Oh my god. I mean, it's. It was like very. I like. I felt like somebody was walking on the. On the floor behind me. They kept saying each name. That was crazy. Yeah. It's very interesting. I don't think. When, and when they said your neck, I was like already feeling it. And then I was like, are you touching? What's going on? The power light? Are you in the other room right now? All right, I'm going to put it in that room purposely because I know sometimes you would be shy and I would confess to you. You made that go off just a few seconds ago. Can you do that again? Work. I'm saying that it takes work for you to use these devices. This room. My whole focus since we've been here has been that way. Rise. I just sat there. Well, isn't that the name of the team here? <laughs> yeah, rise up. Yeah. So anybody over there? Could you talk to Luke through that device? Yours. Hard. It is my device. It's, it's hard to do it. It's no different than any device that you've probably seen before. Hi. I'm not watching, so if you want to walk around that room and make that device go off, I'd appreciate it. Laughing. The word. Not not someone laughing. How many? Do you see it? Are you trying to show us something? There's four of us here. How many of you are here? Dreams. How many spirits are here? Could you give us a number? First. What's your favorite color? Mine's green. Could you give us yours? Is it purple? I think you said that twice. Doorway. See, to me, it looks like a gap, and then it's like foggy in there, but I don't know if it's my eyes or what. Hours. Back down. Don't go back down. Stay up here, talk to us. What's your name? Everything. Technology. Oh, technology. Do you like the technology? We really, really would like you to talk to us. Even by just making a noise. Or saying my name. Do you remember my name? Creepy. I'm creepy, you're creepy. Jane? Is that your name, Jane? You know what? I think there is a Jane here, you know? Really? Hi. Hi, Jane, are you here with us? Jane, did you live here? Travelers. Uh, part of the travelers? Okay. You can't make me. We certainly don't want to force you to do anything. We're just trying to communicate. So you are a traveler? We can. Power life, just one off. Are you hiding in this you will. section? Me. This is the deal. I don't mind that you show yourself, but don't surprise us, okay? Nine. That's how many spirits over. Sometimes we find that we get responses, but they're a bit delayed. Yeah. So I'm wondering if that was a response to that. I can't imagine like, how much energy it has to take to do all that. Yeah. When I look at it, is once you pass this. Like, it's this. Am I talking about it correctly? Do, is there like a learning stage after you pass? It takes you time to learn how to interact with the physical world again. Days. And days and days, really. That was for me. Can you make a noise for us? My ear is ringing my right ear. It's mine. Is that you talking to my right ear? I'm happy you came. We're happy to be here. Yes. Did you work? Pants. Whose pants? Are you at you Tug and Cody's pants? Property. We used to. It just goes around, right? Are you in the other room? Is this Jane or is this someone else that we're talking to now? Feels like somebody's behind me again. It's in that room. Maybe she go over there. Beg. Go over there. Please. These guys are over here. I'll go over the next one with Cody. You cannot be. You don't want us to go in that room? Refrain. Misery. Okay. Okay. Got it. <laughs> All right, we won't go in that room then. That's your space. We'll go back in to get the device afterwards, but that's insane. That is like... I heard a noise behind me. No one can help you. Oh, that's terrible. Can we do anything Once. to help? We'd like to help you if we can. Is there anything we can do? We're here to talk, but we, we 
can help you if you need help in some way, maybe passing on or you feel like you're trapped here. Is any of that true? Parents? Are you with your parents? I just totally heard that. I, that was so clear. It was like something dragging me down. For you. Are you making noise for us? South? They hid it. Where did they hide? What are you looking for? That bed. <laughs> the bed? Is there a bed up here? Is that a bed? Is this a bed behind us? It looks like it. there's like a sheet. It's like a big sheet. Right after it. Right the after people. it. The people. Oh, that scared the crap. I guess it's shift change. Water. Water? I want some water. Robert. Robert? Is that, oh, uh, who's coming up the stairs? Oh, it's Mark. Is anyone coming up the stairs named Robert? No. Oh, okay. Robert. Do you mind if my brother Jimmy joins you guys? Sure. No. Oh, sure. No. I'll leave, I'll leave. I'll leave. I'll Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Okay. Hi, Jimmy, how are you? Hey, good, how are you? Good. You don't have to. We're doing the um, SS method. So he has a spirit box at his feet. He has uh, isolation headphones on and a blindfold. Just heard like three people talking at once. Uh, brother. Yes, it's a uh, brother, yes. Yeah, it is. Old. Is older. Are, are you the older brother? Oh, yeah. Work. He just said older. He just said older. Oh, oh, yeah. I just like on the floor. Who are we talking to? Could you give us your name? You can. You can? Could you do it? How about you say it out loud, either to Luke or as loudly as you can into that recorder next to Justin? So loud. I thought I heard a voice. I, built. Here when the house was built, did you build this house? Your name's Samuel. Gift. Gifted the house. Wasn't the house, the house was gifted to the Preservation Society, right? In the 50s, yeah. Did you gift the house? Were you associated with the house during that time? It might be. Who are we talking to? Could you give us your name, please? How about this? You say it as loud as you can when I count to three, okay? Say it right into that recorder next to Justin. That's all I want. One. Two. Three. All of it. Did you say your name? No way. Eight. Are you stuck here? Do you feel trapped? What's wrong? Yeah. Fasting? Save it. Forgot? Who's here with us? Could you tell us about yourself? Red. Where's the color? Is red your favorite color? Are you answering my question from before? Because... I'll hold it. <laughs> hold it? What's your name? We're still talking to Jane. Is there a Jane here? Yes, right now. If you could touch the device in front of Luke, we'll have a better idea that you're here. Shortcut. Jane, in your life. Exist. The parallel? Yeah. Jane, in your life, what did you do? We lived here. What year did you live here? Any, you can pick any year that you lived here. Two. 1902? 1802? Or did you live here for two years? Rules. We'll follow whatever you want us to do. We just gotta make it clear. Lost control. You lost control of what? Jane, were you a midwife? Did we you... hate it. Look. Look where? I'm looking. Where should Calm I... down. I'm excited. You told me to look somewhere. Burn. Burn. Parallel. Fall out. That was you setting off the parallel. Could you do that again? 45. It was. We did ask for a year. This house has been here since the 1600s. Maybe Freeze. Freeze. Was it cold here? You said so. Is this still Jane? Or is there more than one person trying to talk to us right now? Move it. Is it time for us to go? You want me to move yeah. it? Yeah. Well, one more time to confirm. If you want us to leave, say it again or make the device go off. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Crazy. <laughs> More crazy responses? And it told us to leave, so. Okay. <laughs> How do you feel right now? It is a little bit disorienting. Yeah. Like I probably said 
maybe, I don't know, a hundred words. Yeah. Like maybe, maybe five. Like, that I could be like, oh, I remember saying that. Yeah. Like, one thing... If you told me what I said, I'd be like, oh, I probably remember Was that. you said brother. He came up with his brother. Yeah. And then you said older. Like, he's the older brother. Really? Wow. Oh, I'm glad I didn't say Did you guys come here? Yeah. That's what we were sitting I'm glad I didn't say it. Oh, no. With the room they said. Like that. Room. Um, yeah, yeah, I gotta switch batteries. I don't like this room. You have like a feeling or something? Yeah, the first time I came in here I had it and I have it again. Did you ask us to leave the attic? Okay. Well, you they, did. Asked to leave? They, they did. They did. They did. They did. Did they make you upset? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Is it because of that that room up there with the light? I'm sorry, I had to go in that room to get the light. I wasn't aware that was your space. Is that okay? you doing that could you stop for 30 seconds and then you can we'd love for you to do it again we just yeah. want to get it that's different that that's a different pattern okay sarah you have free reign now if your name's not sarah do you want to lay out that was there that was right there is there anybody over there dude there's nobody up here could you make a different pattern? Could you do that in a different way? Maybe put your hand closer? Even a different light? I thought this was, was different. Different, I guess. Thank you. Is there anybody here with us? Oh, okay. If there is someone here with us, could you just stay away from the instrument for like a, a minute? One minute. So we set a timer for one minute. If you can just wait until this, you hear a noise from this device that I'm pointing at, and so we can confirm that we're talking to you. One minute, and then and then after the minute's up, you can touch them all you want, and we'd love for you to do that. One minute's up. Okay. Can, can you, you touch one of the devices if you're here? The scat ball's literally moving and not lighting up. <laughs> so. No, like, literally, like... Did you see, you literally moved it when you did that. No, I didn't see it. And it didn't light up. <laughs> we put a ball on the table. If you want to touch it, it lights up. It's right there. Sarah, we know there was someone named Sarah in this room before. Is there still a Sarah here? We did stop getting activity when we like specifically stopped asking for it. Yeah, I was wondering. What's weird though is we calibrated. And, and then it, it kept going. Kept going. And then yeah. you said, Gary, can you stop so we can be sure? And then it stopped. And it has not done it since then. So, I mean, again, I think the theory, like, as, <laughs> as kind of funny as it sounds, like, oh, how long does a minute last when you're not, you're, you don't have a body, you know what I mean? You know how disorienting it, even a second would so, be? So, is there any analog clocks in here? What if it's broken? Turning on a light? So, here's a plate. <laughs> that looks like a clock. Yeah. Oh. Is the, uh, the minute's up, I suppose. Welcome back. Same pattern. Is this Sarah? 
Welcome back, Sarah. Can you light anything besides the green light? Can you interact with... Can you interact with any other instruments? What a, I've never actually seen such repetitious... It's like rhythmic, but that makes no sense because it's stopped in five though, minutes. This, out of everything, this is not our instrument. Take your, uh, take your phone off the table. Yeah, that is valuable. This is the only one that's not ours. Yeah. And that, one, that one went twice. Honestly, oh, there's a cat ball. There's the cat ball. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for interacting with something else. Is this, is this Sarah? Could you stop the devices if so this long. is Sarah? Did you? Not stop. We're you... getting, we're getting tempo now. Stop on Q. I don't know. Can you stop one of the other ones? Can you touch any other light in the room? I know you touched the cat ball. You can touch that again if you want. How about the uh, the REM pod on the floor over here? Touch right. anything, anything it's you like, want. Dude, that is like game. picked up in pace. There's Thank the cat you. Ball again. Thank you so much. <sighs> this is. It's like I don't even know. This is wild. This that, is, that went long. This is bad. Apple, bad in Paralyte. Paralyte did make it I'm gonna try and... It's hard to communicate when that's just going, but... Do you like touching the REM pod? Is that why you keep doing it? Is that the easiest thing for you to communicate with us? Dude! That was like... That was very long. Oh my god. <laughs> if, if we're talking to Sarah, were you a parent? The cat ball's still going. It's just been non-stop going on? That was... Five, that is basically not stopping. Wow. That is... I, I don't know what questions to ask, though, because it's very disorienting. I'm gonna move the microphone here. And it's just not the microphone. Should I run zero again? I don't think I'll make that much of a difference. I also <laughs> wouldn't because of the cat ball in fair delivery. The cat ball's still going. That doesn't make, like, dude. I'm, I'm not joking. Like when you like wave your hand, it literally moved. I watched it go like this, and it didn't light up. And now it's completely stationary, and it's been and just for like two minutes. Now. Like what? That makes no sense at all. Sorry, I'm taking my shoes off. There's a, there. a device on the floor right next to me. The cat ball. I mean, you really like the cat ball. We're glad to see you're using it. There's actually another cat ball right over here. What was it? That, that is the that longest it's stopped in about a minute and a half. This, like, I'm gonna just zoom in on this for a second. This is not moving. Like, there's... The cat ball? It's, it's not it's like just it. Not... Dude, it's just been going. Oh, uh, maybe they didn't like that. Do you not like the light? I'm sorry, Sarah and Co. If you want to keep touching the REM pod, can you make... Can you make any other light go off on it, not the green one? <laughs> Temp on Q. Could you? Now, it seems like you're really willing to talk to us right now, so... Could, could you say say your name out loud for us? Come on in. Come on in. Is that cool? It, it hasn't stopped coming since we got in. Did we set it? It was... Yeah. yeah, we did. This is our friend Christine. Could you set off the cat ball? Cat ball's To good. show her that you're here? Me? Maybe Can we zero it and just reset it again? Just see. Say you yeah, we've, we've reset it once, but let's keep doing it. <laughs> like, do you just turn it off and on? Just let it sit for a second. Can you change it to another color? Oh my god. I need two different colors. Try it one more time, please. Doing a great job. Just back up. Okay, thank you. We need a confirmation. Can you do it one more time? Turn that off and make the other one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, how about just back it away? Completely. Make the, all the lights stop. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Because that's crazy. Yeah, wow. Well. And we also asked and so what's the, what's it to the stop for a minute and we set a timer and it didn't do it once. Could you make that go all the way up? No one's phone on. No one's phone on. One's on airplane. Okay. Yeah, no one's. switch them? Like, I could put my room pot on the I, table. I, 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 I would say leave it on, but it's kind of freaking out, so.
Is Sarah in here? Somebody by the name of Sarah. Thank you. I feel like footsteps on the floor, but I don't know if anybody's up here. If you're feeling low on energy, you can drain some of our battery. Okay. You said that? Well, I just watched my battery go down like tw like 20 minutes. Oh, wow. In estimated. Are you draining Cody's battery? Did you guys want to try a different room up here? I was here? just going to say. Yeah. yeah. The military. You have to be John McGregor. I'd assume, so yeah, Revolutionary War. Yeah. Battle of Bunker Hill in Massachusetts. Is there a doctor in that room? I heard like a huff and a puff over here. Go. If the doctor's here, do you remember the names of any patients of yours? <laughs> Is there anybody sitting in the traveler's room right now behind Luke? What was the purpose of the traveler's room? Just like so that people like bumped out and um, yeah. you know, like sleep over, you know, catching one train to another. This is the spot where I was sitting right here. And Ken was asking someone to run around and next thing you know, whatever happened, it was a big bush and I it freaked me out. I just went flipping that way. She came at me I'm like, Dang. can you make a noise? If there's anyone here, we just want to talk. Um, Which one part is that? Someone else is one part. That's not fine. It, oh, is it the one that's on the table? I shut it off, but it sounds like that one. To be honest, I've never like had dealt with a broken rum con before. <laughs> it's, it's actually <laughs> the funniest it's thing because it's like mind numbing. <laughs> it's just absolutely <laughs> horrible. I'm gonna knock three times. Can you knock back for me? I heard one hear metallic, that? metallic bang. What was that? It sounded metallic. It sounded like a water bottle. It's exact. Yeah, it sounded exactly it's, like a water bottle. It sounded bottle. like it's in the, the travelers room. <laughs> I'm looking for a doctor. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Are you okay? <laughs> Maybe a medical doctor. I need a checkup. It's been a while. Any doctor here that could help me out? I know I'm in your space, but if it's too much to ask, you could light up one of the devices. Are there any patients here? If someone came to a traveling in sick, there's probably a pretty good chance doctors to Doctors in, in that time like, used to take patients in their homes a lot. Yeah. Fair. Home Very calls. True. Yeah. yeah. So but maybe not necessarily here. So an apple a day keeps the doctors away. That's where that saying came from. Yeah, someone has to be in there. Sounds the Morse code. Sounds like it's... I'll go in there. Is there anybody in this room? We just want to talk to you. <laughs> Did you stay here at one time? How about, is there anybody who visited here that stayed in the traveler's room? Can you hear us? What was that? That was really loud. That sounded like somebody like hitting a piece of metal. It sounded like a front door, but the front door goes bing. Right. I just realized that's not a wind or not a mirror. It's a window. Whoa. Right behind you. Could you make a noise where you'd like us to go? It was like a whistle. That sounded like. That's exactly what I heard over there. Yeah. What is that? Basement stairs, maybe? Maybe. So it's like somebody just moved a cabinet, touched a cabinet. I didn't hear a door or footsteps after that. I just heard like three or four steps on the stairs and then nothing. I feel like if somebody was walking up the stairs, we'd hear. I like, haven't heard anyone walk upstairs. Like a res, like I hear. Yeah, there's a window rubbish. here though, and so there, we may have heard it. Like what you didn't. And there is stairs behind. The here. stairs are right there, but nobody was on them. We can try another room. We, I mean, there, we still haven't done the traveler. Sure. <laughs> is there anybody here in the traveler's room with us? I thought we heard a couple noises in here. I just heard something on the bed next to me. Really? Yeah. Are you laying in the bed? It almost sounded like. 
fantastic. Something of that like kind of consistency, just like crinkling. I mean, the only thing on the bed is that, that dress that you're like basically Again. touching. Two times. Flashlight just turned on. Two times there. Are you making that noise on the bed? If you're making those noises, can you touch some of those devices over there? Yeah, could you shut it off and leave it off for a minute? Thank you. Can you turn it back on, folk? Thank you. That's the most I've ever seen it like flicker down like that. Yeah, without like going one way right. or the other. There are all the devices right next to it. Can you make those go off? If you don't like the noise of the machines, make that flashlight go up. Turn it on. We're going to assume you'd prefer not to touch the ones that make sound. Do you have a family here? There's a lot of dolls and children's clothes in here. Are any of these items yours? Could you turn the flashlight on if that's true? Thank you. Could you make a sound near something that's yours? Remove it even? I heard that. Where was it? I, I'm not across the hall, right? Yeah. The other room. Whoa. Is something of yours in the other room? Could you shut off the flashlight? Behind me, I heard oh. back there. <laughs> Is it rocking? I hope not. Let's find out. Is the rocking horse yours? No. No, so if that rocking horse is yours, make that light turn on again. So we know that you're answering the question. Is that rocking horse yours? Thank you. Can you use it? Can you can you sit in it? Or are you not able to touch it? If this is your favorite spot to hide, turn the light off. If you can see four of us here, can you shut that light off? Can you only hear us? Does it scare you when you hear us talking? Turn the light back on for me, if the answer is yes. We're sorry that it's scary. That's not what we want. Could you turn the light off if you feel that you have a concept of time? Thank you. Could you turn the flashlight back on if you know what year it is right now? Rolling sleeves up. Thank you. It looked like that dress just like moved. I'm like, what? Yeah. I'm not sure if the window's open behind it. The flashlight is just not hasn't changed at all. I mean, you didn't even touch that thing, and it was going crazy before. I haven't touched it since I put it down, and it was going crazy, and it just hasn't. And now it's just for steady. Like yeah. Three, four minutes, it's just been on. Well, thank you for talking to us. We're gonna move again. I was sleeping. All right, guys, so we've been asked to keep this last part of the video private. There was some very personal stuff brought up during this last session, as well as some techniques used that the parties involved wanted to keep private. That being said, we had an awesome night at the Pain House. We got so much activity. We're gonna go through the evidence and we're gonna come back with an evidence review and sit down, me, Justin, and Luke, and go over what we discovered. We hope you guys enjoyed the investigation and we're gonna be coming back with plenty of content like this, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more. Big thanks to Chris for taking us with her on this investigation. Big thanks to Satori Hawes and Cody Desbian. We had an awesome session with them. Big thanks to Ken DaCosta for letting us tag along. And a big thanks to everyone else we talked to that night. Everyone was super friendly and amazing to work with. We'll catch you guys next time.